Hi everyone and welcome to another declutter in my 12 days of declutters. have a part one of my lip products declutter already up on my channel and we are going to try to complete all of my lip products today. I was initially actually going to do this in one giant video but I just wanted to let you know in case you caught the beginning of that video I kind of changed my mind halfway but through. Yeah we're gonna get started because I still have all of my lip liners and all of my bullet lipsticks to do tonight and I have a feeling it's still going to take a long time to get through all of these products. So let's jump in. For those of you that are new to my channel. Hi, my name is Natalia. I'm a concert pianist who loves all things beauty. I have had an up and down, no buy, low buy journey here on YouTube. I started my channel in 2020 with a no buy year and have still continued to struggle with overconsumption of beauty products even after my no buy. So I am on one big long journey to find the balance between using what is already in my collection and bringing in a select few products for the the beauty junkie in me that wants to constantly try new things. <laughs> so if you are interested in that type of content, I hope that you will subscribe. I hope you will also check out all of my previous declutters. I have a whole bunch of them that are going up right now and we are going to tackle my lip liners. All right, I don't even know if I should take these out or leave them in and just pull them out from here. To be honest, looking at these, I don't think I'm going to declutter a lot because even though this is a lot of lip liners, I have multiples from the same brands because they've kind of been my tried and true. Some of them I've had for many, many years and they are still working just fine. But I might try to narrow this down a little bit because of course what ends up happening is I end up reaching for some of the newer ones for an extended period of time. Then I feel guilty for neglecting my old ones and occasionally go in and hand pick, you know, some of the ones I remember from before. And then there's a few that just lie around and get neglected altogether. Also, as you guys know, I do a basket of doom series, which is kind of my version of the chopping block. So most likely quite a few of these I'm going to be putting in there in the upcoming months of 2024. Let's start off with some of the ones that I reach for all the time. They also happen to be my most high end ones. So they're not going anywhere. We have these two from Rare Beauty. These are in shades Worthy and Talented. I'm not going to swatch everything because I don't want to be here for too long, but this is Talented. I'm going to probably leave that there because maybe I will do a few comparisons since I know that this is a brand that I'm currently reaching for the most. And then this is the one in Worthy, which is more of a pinky nude, and that is more of a brownie warm nude. These are definitely staying. Another one that I have loved for many years, in fact this is my third one. I used to have one years ago that was already getting pretty small and I lost it. I was very sad about that because these are very expensive. Then I purchased another one for myself and that one I used up last year and this I actually won as part of a giveaway. So this is my newest one that I just recently started using and let's see how similar this is to too worthy. No, they're different. This is even more pink because this is in Pillow Talk in case I didn't mention. So this is the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat in um, Pillow Talk. That is definitely staying. Another one that is staying that I'm not going to swatch just because it is a gorgeous red and I don't need to swatch it. I know I'm keeping this. This is the Lisa Eldridge lip liner. This was a very generous and sweet and considerate gift from my friend Kelly uh, of the channel Key beauty real. She came with her fiance uh, to New York last February and I took them around and we hung out and as a thank you for me spending some time with them, they generously gifted me this lip liner and the matching lipstick. So of course, I'm definitely going to keep these forever and ever until I use these up. In fact, this has become my staple concert stage lippy at this point. So since that time in February, I have exclusively worn this this lip pencil and that lipstick in ribbon, in velvet ribbon for every concert that I've had this past year. And since I now have this gorgeous red, I'm actually, I think, going to go through my red lip liners and possibly declutter some of them. So I have 
these. And then all of my ColourPop ones are here on this side. Some of them are more pinky. I think that is it for the reds that I have. And I always like to have a couple of really good red liners because I know that I love me a nice red lip. So I don't know, maybe I should swatch and just see if we have anything kind of similar. So there's the Lisa Eldridge. I mean, you can see she's getting, she's getting used. She's getting small already and I've had her for less than a year. Right. Let's take a look. This is, these are a uh, ColourPop Lippy Pencil in Bossy. These are starting to dry out, but I still have been using them. They're still, as you can see, very creamy on the inside. That is a bit of a different shade, but let's see. So we've got Bossy. What is this? This is Frenchy. It's a much brighter red. This one is a little bit drier. Still usable, but a bit drier. Then I have from the ColourPop ones, Full Speed. This one looks like it's a lot more pink. It is a bit more pink. Deeper than I thought it would be, which I actually am very happy about, but it is more pink. And then I have this NYX one in Hot Red. This used to be one of my favorites. I mean, it's definitely been used a lot. This one is probably most similar to uh, Bossy by ColourPop, but it's also similar enough to the Lisa Eldridge. And then I have this one, which I know I'm gonna declutter to be honest, but I'll still swatch it since I'm already here. It's just the Sephora Rouge Gel Lip Liner in 12, the red. It's just called the red. The reason I'm gonna declutter this is because it is a bit too creamy. And also these smell like crayons and I really don't enjoy the smell. I decluttered most of these last year they were in i think one of my first basket of dooms and um i only kept i think two of the deeper colors just because i wasn't sure if i have anything similar but you can see how shiny that is in comparison to all of these other ones and for red honestly i don't need a shiny lip liner as it is red lipstick is one you really don't want it going all over the place so i think this is too creamy this is going to be decluttered right away and i don't think i need all five of these so i really should narrow it down um well obviously i'm keeping the lisa eldridge but then i've got these four to decide what i'm gonna do with i think i'm going to keep what am i gonna keep i feel like th is this one drier or is the color pop one drier so this was the next one i'm just testing out the formula one more time and then this is this is going on easier to be honest gosh am i really gonna get rid of the nyx i used to love this pencil mm. Okay, I think what I'm going to do is I am, I'm still going to keep the NYX. I just can't seem to part with it. I'm going to also keep this a brighter red from ColourPop. This is the one in Frenchy. And I think I'm actually going to get rid of these other two ColourPop lippy pencils. I just don't need this mixed. We have, let's pull out all of the Milani ones because this is another favorite formula of mine for liners. I have been like collecting them over the years. I feel like I should have even more. Maybe not, maybe that's all I have. So I have these five. Uh, this one, of course, I use and love a lot. This gets used a lot in the summer for my like bright fuchsia lipsticks. I am still gonna keep that. That's a beautiful color and clearly it is well loved. Mm. I have 05 Hot Pink. I have 07 Brandy, 09 Spice, and then I have 12 Bordeaux. I have a feeling I'm gonna get rid of the Hot Pink because even though I have clearly used this, it is a little bit shorter than some of my other ones. I I just don't really wear this bright pink anymore. And I feel like if I'm in the mood for a mauve or a pinky lip, I can just as easily use one of these lip liners from either Charlotte Tilbury or Rare Beauty and then just wear a brighter lipstick and it'll still be just fine. I mean, let me swatch it. I'll do it here, but you can see like that's, that's very pink and I rarely wear that color anymore. Let's swatch the nude. This is the the spice let's see how this compares so this is a deeper version of the rare beauty i think i would like to keep that one this of course is going to be even darker i mean look at that that's beautiful though definitely keeping that and then bordeaux in case we have other ones to compare to what i like about these 
uh, liners is they are smooth. They go on smooth, but they are m more on the drier formula side. So that means also they last a long time and you can sharpen them to a more precise point. So yeah, these, these liners are definitely, they've been favorites for, oh gosh, I've probably had this for like eight years. I don't even know. And I'm sure I've had some of the other ones for quite a few years as well. Okay. So for now we're going to keep those. I am not a hundred percent sure yet on the Bordeaux in case case there's another one I like better, but we're going to for now leave that there. Let's tackle the rest of these ColourPop liners because I seem to have a lot and do I really need all of them? Let's see here. The lightest of them all that I have is BFF. That's quite similar isn't it? It's a little bit more cool than the Rare Beauty one, so I don't know yet about that. Let's put that aside for a second. Then we have BFF3. I guess I don't have BFF2. I Oh no, here's BFF2, but that looks very different. So there's BFF2. That one seems to be more similar to the Milani one. And then here's BFF3. Ooh, that one's interesting. I mean, I see the difference between all of them. I don't know if you guys can on camera. So of course, the makeup junkie in me is like, but they are all different. This one is in Obvi, like I guess obvious. So here's another one that is, this one's more pinky, like it's it's a deep mauvey pinky brown. Then I have Bumble, oh, another one that is falling out. That one's more of like a rosy nude. I don't have anything like that yet. So we're going to put that one aside for sure. Brink. This one I've actually been wearing and really enjoying. Where are we going to put Brink? I guess I'll put it right there. I see another one that is kind of similar, but not quite like the Milani. And I definitely have been enjoying this one. And then we have Control. Like, I guess Control, Old, Delete. Oh, wow. That's a nice deep brown. Yeah, I definitely don't have too many of those. So let's for now keep that. I also have LBB, which is drying out and that seems like a more of a purple in comparison to the Milani. We have Bichette, which is kind of like a burgundy. It's a pretty color. I'm not making any decisions here, am I? Oh, Brink, I already swatched. This was Brink. Oh, I don't even know what to do. I think I'm gonna get rid of this one. I think that was, was that BFF2 or BFF3? Which one was B? No, BFF3 was this green, this one that pulls green. I'm gonna keep that one because that's quite unusual. I think it was BFF2. Yeah, I mean, it's a beautiful color, but I don't think I need that between some of these other ones so that's gonna go okay i'm gonna leave these here in case i have any other comparisons so for now i am keeping bumble uh control which was the really dark one and a bff3 which is this olivey one and we are gonna decide on some of these other nudes in just a minute because i am already starting to feel overwhelmed okay let's go through my jordana lip liners this was another i don't know if they still make these i don't know is jordana still around but i used to absolutely love these i panned at least one or two of these at some point and these are the ones i have left this is a shade i used to use a lot because i used to wear a lot of mauve uh, lip products and um there's that one this is in this is the easy liner for lips in baby berry then i also have tawny this was another one i used to wear all the time i mean i still have quite a lot but considering i've used up quite a bit okay so this is in tawny it's also a pinkier nude obviously not nearly as pink as that but beautiful color not quite like any of my other ones so actually tawny we're gonna keep for sure and then this is in plush plum let's put it down here to compare with whatever we've got happening here. Oh, they're similar, but not the same. I think I'm gonna get rid of this last Sephora Rouge Gel lip liner. This is an Aubergine Dream. Again, it's too shiny for a color like this. Yes, it's a beautiful color, but hmm, this one doesn't actually smell like crayons. It smells like nothing, but I still don't think I'm going to be reaching for that very often, especially in such a slippery, shiny formula. All right, since I'm on these deeps, I've got the NYX lip liner in in prune 
See, like, yeah, that, if anything, I would use that because that's matte. So we're going to keep prune and get rid of the Sephora. Do I have any other darker ones like that? I have this. What is this? This is the Sephora in Beau Bordeaux, but this looks more brown than it does Bordeaux. Yeah, definitely. This is definitely a brown. This is reminding me of, what was this at the end? Was that a Milani one? Was it this one? Yeah. I think I prefer the Milani formula. It's a, got a little bit more purple to it, but I have i don't think I've ever used this. We're gonna let that one go. I don't really do such deep brown lips very often because on my super pale skin, I just find it looks a little too stark and kind of too, too harsh. This is, and I feel like I had another one and I don't know where it went, but this um, is the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Lip Pencil. And it says it's a naked, but the original naked, I don't know, if I decluttered it or what happened to it was actually one I loved the shade of. This had to be like a mistake because this is too dark to be naked. I mean, I do really like this pencil, but the shade is mislabeled. Let's see if this reminds me of anything. And again, it's like more rose. It's kind of similar to whatever that is, which is what? What was that one? Was that Bumble? No, this is Bumble. So what is this one? Wow, I've already forgotten. This obvious shade? Yes, okay. So this reminds me of the Urban Decay. I mean, right next to each other, they're not exactly the same. I feel like they're gonna be similar enough. I really like both of these formulas, which is why it's so hard for me to choose. So these two I have to decide between. I have the Jante Blue Lip Liner in Spice. I had this in a basket of a Doom earlier in 2023, and I liked it enough to keep it. But honestly, now that I'm looking at this humongous collection of nude lip liners that I I don't really want to let go of. I'm wondering if I even need this. I mean, it's a nice lip liner, but like how many lip liners can one girl have? This Bobbi Brown in red. This doesn't look very red. Ooh, and it's pulley and dry. And we're gonna get rid of that. I need to get rid of at least something. What is this? This is the LA Girl Ultimate Lip Intense Stay Auto Liner. Aha, it's a retractable. I do like to have re Ooh, that's nice and creamy. Similar to this. That's the Charlotte Tilbury. No, this one's more neutral. That's more pink. Okay, so another one we're gonna keep. This is from the brand Mellow. It's in rose. Why is there glitter on it? I guess I got it into something because it looks perfectly matte. This is probably the warmest one I have of everything. Don't think I have another one like that. Okay, so we're gonna keep that. It's like the most peach of them all. This Huda Beauty lip contour and trophy wife i also have a liquid lip that i kept okay so that is like a deep mauve so we're gonna keep the deep mauve and did i end up getting rid of the um jordana the pink one or i'm still figuring that out i think i was still figuring it out but i don't think i need this super pink one it's a really lovely formula to this day but i don't really wear colors like this very often so we're gonna get rid of that i have this nyx lip liner in a thousand years i mean this looks like a gray doesn't it oh wow yeah does this remind me of anything absolutely not so i guess we'll do that for an offbeat moment I have this from Real Her. I remember really liking this. I've used this even, I think, in this past year. This is an I Am Precious. And again, it's one of those more mauve liners. Are they the same or different? They're not quite the same. This one's darker. This one's a true mauve. Definitely keeping them off. This, I think, is what I usually wear when I wear my NARS Audacious Lipstick in Anna, which is one of my favorite shades and has been for probably eight or ten years, ever since the Audacious Lipstick came out. I'm still a bit overwhelmed, so I'm going to take these out and I'm going to put back what I'm definitely keeping. A 
Okay, I've still left some of these out again because I feel like I need to re-swatch all these nudes one more time because I am, I'm, I don't know what I'm doing. The leftovers. I have this clear one that's supposed to prevent the lipsticks from coming out of the lines. I keep wanting to try this and still haven't. So one last chance. We'll see how that goes. I have this from the original Urban Decay and Gwen Stefani collection in Firebird. I used to have, I think, the whole collection and little by little I have declared that over the years. This is a very bright fuchsia. The only other one I feel like I have that is somewhat similar is the one I mentioned is like my favorite for uh, colors like that. I prefer the formula to be honest of the Milani. So I'm wondering if I should just let this go and when time comes repurchase the Milani one because this one is pretty old. Yeah, I think I'm gonna let this go. This is one of my favorite mauves, like a purple mauve. This is the NARS Velvet Lip Liner in El Agua. This used to be such a hyped up lip liner when these very white based purple colors were in and it's unlike anything else I have and I have a one or two lipsticks that actually match this pretty well. So I'm definitely gonna keep that one. All right, let's re-swatch some of these. So from the deep one, ones. Do I want this? I don't think so. I think I have enough deep shades to carry me through. This is old. We're gonna get rid of that color pop. I think it was the LBB, the little, what's LBB? Little black? I don't know. Anyway, I also have this one. Which one was this? Was this this very first one? No, it looks like it was this second shade, I guess. Oh, and I was comparing it to the Milani, I think, right? The Bordeaux. Yeah, I mean, they're different enough. I think between those two, I got rid of the two more purple ones. I just have the one left. And what was this shade? That was, I think, the NYX pencil. Do I need the NYX pencil? Oh, the NYX pencil was the purple. Oh my god, why am I so confused today? What is happening? So what was this shade? Was it this Bichette? Yes. Bichette. One of these was Bichette, and then that one I think was the Milani, and the last one was the Giordano. One swipe, one swipe, one swipe. They're all so good. They're all so good. Oh my gosh. I'm just gonna keep all of them. I can't decide. I'm sorry. And then we'll see how they wear, I guess, on the lips over time. I'm sure I'll narrow it down. All the nudes. So we've got Milani Spice. I don't know if you guys can see that. ColourPop BFF. ColourPop Brink. ColourPop, oh, that's the green one, BFF3. Keeping that one, that's the unusual one. Okay, ColourPop Control, that's the really dark one. Keeping that one, things are moving. Milani, what is this one? Brandy, I don't remember which one it is, might be this one. That's very nice. Jean to Blue, those are kind of similar. Urban Decay, ColourPop Obvious. Those are virtually the same, I swear to God. And then ColourPop Bumble. Okay, let's keep Bumble. Let's keep the Urban Decay and get rid of ColourPop Obvious or whatever it is. Okay, and from what I have left, we have Milani, ColourPop, ColourPop. Do I really need this super light one? And yes, they are slightly different, but am I really gonna care on the lips? I actually, I don't know, I actually feel like maybe it's the Milani that needs to go because it's probably a little too warm for me. And I'm gonna keep the two ColourPops and these two deeper shades because I got rid of one of those. Let's go with that. I don't know if that these are the right decisions, but these are the decisions. So these are the lip liners that I am keeping. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. And then these are the lip liners I am getting rid of. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13. So I used to have 40. I'm down to 27. Is it fantastic? No. But is it better than where we were? Absolutely. So I will take it. Let's get into all of my bullet lipsticks.
Well, I hope I found all of my lip products. Lip products, as you guys know, are really tough because there's at least two in every handbag. And then there are some in like every drawer in your house and whatnot. So I... I try to keep things semi-organized as best as I can, but if something is not here, I apologize. I guess we will tackle it in the future, but this is the majority, at least, of my lipstick collection. There are some crayons in here, which I didn't know where to put them, so they're just gonna be combined with this bullet lipstick collection, and I have no idea how I'm gonna do. I've done a lipstick declutter that to me was pretty cutthroat in the past. In fact, I maybe have done two. I do not remember in the last one I did, which by now has to be at least a year ago. I think I even swatched absolutely every single lip product. I don't think I'm gonna do that today because we would be here for a while. Let's go through and talk about the things that I'm definitely keeping just to get those out of the way. Definitely both of my Lisa Eldridge lipsticks. I actually have a third because because this velvet ribbon is a broken shade. Um, as I mentioned before, my friend Kelly gifted this to me. It unfortunately was broken. Thankfully, the brand is really great about replacements. So I do have a brand new one as backup. But you, you know I'm not gonna just toss a super expensive lipstick. And even if I can't use all of it, because it is a little tricky sometimes to use because it's wobbly in there, I'm still gonna use it until I can't anymore. So definitely keeping my Velvet Ribbon. It's very sentimental and also just an amazing red shade. I also have Velvet Muse. So another really beautiful lipstick. Definitely keeping both of these. I have one Pat McGrath lipstick. I think I used to have two and I think I declared Clutter, the other one. I don't know why, but I never reach for this. This is Lavish 410, and I guess this is the Lux Trans lipstick formula. I mean, it's beautiful. I think it's just a little too dark for me to use on the regular, which is why I forget to use it. You guys can see it's a beautiful brown, and for a lot of people, that's a fantastic shade, but for me, hmm, I don't know. Let's compare it to Velvet Muse and see if I really need both. Of course, it's kind of fun to have at least one Pat McGrath lipstick. Yeah, this one's definitely lighter, which is probably why I actually wear that one once in a while. But am I ready to part with my only Pat McGrath lipstick? I don't think I am. I think I'm gonna keep this. Um, my two YSL lippies are not going anywhere. This one I actually got through Influencer a long time ago. I think when these first came on the scene and way before TikTok and YouTube and whoever else made these viral this past year. I think this is those uh, candy glaze ones. So before maybe even these were released, Influencer was doing a campaign and I somehow magically ended up scoring this shade in 04. I don't know what the name of that shade is. I would have to look it up, but it is um, a beautiful warm like terracotta shade. I don't want to roll it up too much because this is one that does not roll back down but there it is twice for you guys to see. I don't like the mess that it creates to be honest. I wish the packaging was a little bit better. I know you you think right Yves Saint Laurent. The outside packaging is gorgeous. It's the inside. If I was buying this for myself I would never choose this shade but you know I got it for free so your girl's not complaining. This one I've had for years it's all rubbed off but this is in like whatever the original creamy formula is. This is the summer fuchsia that I pair with my Milani lip liner. It is a little bit tricky because of course it is so creamy and such a bright color that there is always a chance that it's gonna get all over the place. But I just love this shade so much that it's not going anywhere. I'm already making a complete mess. Okay, the other ones that are not going anywhere. My Natasha Denona, this is the My Dream lipstick in Natasha. Uh, my name, for those of you guys that don't know, well, you know it's Natalia. It is the name of my channel and I introduce myself in every video. But because I am um, originally from Russia, well, I was born when it was still the Soviet Union. In Russia, the name Natalia and Natasha are actually the same name. One is just your given more formal name and the other one is what your friends and family call you. So Natasha is 
basically my name and it's why i got the lip products um i also wanted the my dream eyeshadow palette but i could not afford the whole collection and i really thought that you know it's not very often that you get a person named natasha who not only owns an entire brand but even has products named after herself so i snagged this lipstick i also have the lip liner and lip gloss i love all three this is a little bit more creamy than what i prefer in a bullet i prefer either a shiny gloss or balm or more of a matte formula or like a comfort matte i guess i should say um so this is a little creamy but i still really enjoy this lipstick and it's not going anywhere because i'd like to think it's named after me Huh. Okay, and then we have the whole NARS Audacious collection, also, by the way, named after people, I guess. Well, you know, it has names uh, such as Raquel and Anna and Anita, and I love this formula. This is probably to this day, even though by now there's Rare Beauty that I love and Give Beauty that I really enjoy, and I really used to like the old Marc Jacobs formula, the old Lorac formula, the old uh, Urban Decay Revolution lipsticks were some of my favorites. But I think to this day, if I had to choose one formula that I could keep in my collection, as hard as that would be to choose, I would probably go with my NARS Audacious lipsticks. So this is in Raquel. Look at me here swatching everything, even though I said I wouldn't. Beautiful pinky nude anita which is my favorite this is my second one i've gone through one well it went bad but it was almost almost done so this is i guess more of a even pinkier nude this is more of like a peachy nude anna used to be my favorite shade i don't really wear these deeper mauves quite as often at the moment but it's still one of my absolute favorite lipsticks i've had this oh gosh i've had this for a long time I mean, you guys can see I've used, I've used a lot of this. Here's a very orangey Lou. I don't wear this very often, but it's a NARS Audacious lipstick. These are not going anywhere. We have Greta. Oh, look at that bright pink. Again, even though I don't wear colors like this often, in this formula, I do once in a while. We've got Kate, which is a beautiful, deep purple. Purples used to be a thing. I don't know what happened with that. They stopped being a thing. Stefania is another really beautiful, bright fuchsia. This is really nice. I like that one a lot. Then we've got Dominique. This was a very interesting, cool tone, like a grayish purple. Who remembers Dominique? This was such a... So this, I think, was like a limited edition shade and it became so popular they made it part of their regular line. And then I have these special limited edition packaging ones. And one of these is an audacious lipstick and one of them is uh, an audacious sheer. So I think this is like the regular one. Oh my gosh, I haven't even used this. <gasps> I'm not going to swatch it right now. That's just too beautiful. I didn't even realize this was brand new. Shame on me, but look at that gorgeous color. Oh my gosh, I got to use this. Like, this would have been perfect for the fall. Wow. What about this one? Have I used this one? No. <gasps> Wow, I have not used either one of these. All right, I'm, I'll need to, these need to go into my basket of shame. I should use these in a video. I'm not gonna swatch them right now. I want them to have a special moment. But clearly, those are all staying. Um, I also have one Charlotte Tilbury lipstick. This is in Very Victoria. I like the shade. It's a little bit too deep for me for every day. I know this is a favorite of a lot of people, but again, I am super fair. So this is just like a little bit too cool tone on me so i don't wear it too too often but i do still wear it and i do enjoy it and then we have my rare beauty in humble i love the rare beauty lip liners and lipsticks i think this formula is so great and i do really enjoy this color too this is a really lovely color it's kind of similar to raquel from the nars audacious line and raquel is definitely i think out of the audacious lipsticks the two i use the most is raquel and anita so i'm not surprised now that i've swatched them next to it i used to have two of these old milk makeup lipsticks they don't make these anymore i'm guessing the other one maybe i still haven't even tried and it's sitting in my basket of shame because i didn't expect those two brand new 
new NARS lipsticks to be in here. I have a feeling one of the Give lipsticks maybe is brand new too because I think I found it at TJ Maxx or Marshalls not too long ago. But my new, new products are not actually supposed to be in here. But this one I've used quite a bit. This is in Cream. And this uh, is a beautiful lipstick formula and again i mean do we do we see um do we see a trend a color trend here i think i'm gonna keep this and this might go into like a future basket of doom or something just to remind me of how it wears but it, it's it's a beautiful lipstick i don't want to let it go yet i am as i've mentioned already i'm very possessive of my lip products eyeshadow palettes blushes and lip products i think are the three categories that are the hardest for me to declutter so and maybe highlighters but i haven't done that yet so i'm not sure we're gonna have to see i know you've probably already seen that video but i'm filming them out of order don't ask me why it's just what i was in the mood for let's tackle what should we do next let's do my mac lipsticks because i don't have many and i have a feeling i'm gonna keep these as well this is the retro matte in all fired up it's another one of these bright fuchsia shades but this one is as i just mentioned in like the ultra retro matte formula so i do actually like to have both the nars audacious formula and this one depending on like what the event is and how i need my makeup to hold up lady danger is uh like an orangey red i think this is the only orangey red in my collection because i don't think orange really looks good on me i mean i'm tempted to try it a little bit more this upcoming year and experiment but i have a shirt that i wear in the summer quite a bit that is pretty much identical to this color and i very often will wear the matching lipstick then we have uh ruby woo this is my second this is the lipstick i used to wear on stage all the time right now the lisa eldridge has overthrown this one but i i'm still keeping it in my collection because i always want to have ruby woo on hand I just think that is such a gorgeous red and it's just it's a classic like this is this is just such a classic okay and then the only one i'm not sure of is kind of sexy i it's a beautiful nude but for some reason i don't pull for it even though look it is a similar color to the ones i love i think because this one is just ever so slightly lighter and more warm like m pulls a bit more extra peachy that i don't i just forget about it but i don't know i mean it is it's a really nice nude do i get rid of it or do I give it another chance? I have a hard time getting rid of good products. I really do. I, I don't think I will. I think I'm going to keep it. And then this, I don't even know if I've ever used. This was a sample that came with something. This is in Mare. I remember this used to be a really popular shade. Yeah, see, this is brand new. I think this was uh, something I got like from a CCO. That's a beautiful shade. I'm definitely going to keep it. What formula is this? It's a matte. Okay, good. I like, I like that. We're going to keep it. You guys are probably thinking like, is this girl going to get rid of anything? To be honest, I have no idea. I have no idea. I think, you know what? Actually, I think I'm going to, I know it's like the smallest one. I think I will probably get, I don't know. Will I get rid of this? I love this shade. I hate the smell. This is the Too Faced. What were these lipsticks called? I mean, the shade is Sex on the Peach, which... Too Faced, Too Faced. It's a beautiful shade. It is a bit more cool. So there it is. It's like more brown, but it is just such a strong artificial scent. And I feel it even after applying it. Do I have anything else that cool that I'm actually going to keep? I'm going to put it aside. And if I have anything even remotely similar, I'm going to get rid of it. This is Huda Beauty in Hustler. This is the cream lipstick. So you guys can see very shiny. I guess I should have one one nice cream lipstick in a similar-ish shade than, you know, that I prefer and like. So, and I haven't used that one much, so I'd like to give it a chance. Tom Ford lip color in Indian Rose. I do reach for this sometimes, especially like if I don't want to pack a lot. This is a beautiful mauve shade, mauve pink. This one I never use. This is a Fenty lipstick and this is in Flamingo Acid. This was like a really bright, I mean, it's a cool color. I have lip liners that are basically this color, but I think because it's a mini, I just forget about it. I haven't really been wearing these kind of shades much. I mean, they're beautiful for the winter time. So I'm 
going to, again, put that aside. Let's see if I have something else that is similar. I have a feeling um, one of my Bite Beauty lipsticks is actually a similar color. And unless they're smelling off, I am keeping my Bite because it's another one of my favorite formulas. So we have this one, which is kind of similar to maybe this, but not really. These are the only thing is these are so soft that they are easily breakable. Then I have Juniper, beautiful raspberry color. I don't see anything like that. Plum, maybe that's the one I'm thinking of. Is this anything like plum? No, plum is basically what it says. It's plum. But I don't know. I feel like between these three, that should satisfy my itch for like a really deep berry color. I don't think I need to keep that Fenty one. I also have Opal which is this pearlescent color that, to be honest, I never put over other lipsticks. I mean, I imagine that that's kind of the point of it. It's one of these shifty shades. I mean, in theory, I think the idea of it is cool in practice. I really don't think I'm ever going to do anything with it. I'm going to get rid of it. I have this one in Sorbet. This is beautiful, but I don't really wear these sort of pinks much. I mean, it is a beautiful color. Should I keep one of these? All right, this is a maybe. And then I have have this squid ink shade which is look at that that i'm gonna keep just just because because that's cool that is really cool all right some lippies that um i don't want to get rid of but i feel like they're getting way too old are my Lorac alter ego i feel like they're starting to have the chemical scent that i often talk about this is in jet setter and i guess it would have been similar to maybe one of these from nars and since the nars ones are still good i'm gonna definitely get rid of jet setter this is in goddess which is kind of similar to dominique this one i do actually still wear this one sometimes well well, I haven't in a little while, but let's see. Can I swatch it there? Yeah, you see, it's not quite the same. And I do love that shade, but I feel like if they still make this, I need to just get a new one. This one needs to go. Secret Agent is one I used to wear quite a bit. This was one of the darker browns I really enjoyed just because I love the formula because it was so creamy, but yet not shiny on the lips. And that's kind of what I prefer. But yeah, I don't know. They're starting to smell a little weird. I got rid of the glosses as well because th this all came in the same collection, the 20th anniversary vault. This is in Visionary, another brown that I used to really enjoy. But again, we're going to just let it go. And this was, I mean, I had 10 of these. So obviously I've let go of quite a few other shades. These were the ones that were still okay in my last declutter. This is an MUA, really dark vampy lip look at that it's still so creamy but we're gonna we're gonna unfortunately have to part with it okay this one i've had for a really long time and i feel like i never use it anymore these were the maybelline color blurs i used to love these back in the day oh but you see it's already coming out of the packaging another one of those gorgeous magenta colors and this one really truly blurred the lips like you can even probably see in the swatch but i think i'm gonna just have to use one of my other ones if i want this color fix and get rid of this just because it's really old same i think with my color pop lippy six i mean these i've had for so long i've just decluttered the lbb lip liner so do i need the lip pencil i mean it's not the same as this one from bite beauty but i think it's similar enough and since i don't really pull for this shade all that often then i have frenchy which i clearly used a lot back in the day i think this is the other like slightly more orangey red that i have but of course not quite as much as the mac it's a beautiful color but i haven't used this in so long we're gonna let it go oh i guess that blue blue lipstick is getting all over the place. I'm going to have to clean this up in a second. And then this I used to love, Tootsie. Who remembers Tootsie? Who remembers Tootsie? Look at that. That's a beautiful shade too, but again, I'm just not... I don't know i don't think of these anymore for some reason and they're already starting to break they're old and messy and we're just gonna get rid of them and i'm gonna go clean this up 
All right, I am back and a little bit cleaned up. I can't remember where I left off, to be honest, and what we were just discussing. So I'm just going to continue grabbing things and see what happens. Let's finish off the Bite Beauty. Let's look at these minis because I very often forget about them. So I have pepper, I have chai, and I have honeycomb. I know I no longer have the other ones to compare to. I know I used to wear a honeycomb the most. They really are all three beautiful shades. Surprisingly enough, they really still do smell good. Problem is I, for some reason, just never reach for these. So do I need to keep them? I think considering how many really beautiful full-size lipsticks I have, oh, this is another really hard one because I really do love the formula. It's again, it's one that's a little more shiny, but it's a cream formula that's not overly slippery, which is why I've always loved the Bite Beauty lipsticks. Obviously, the only way to get them now, I think, is through their lip lab since the brand went out of business for the most part. I think I should let these go. I just, I don't reach for them. I don't seem to really be into minis as much as I used to anymore and they're just laying around and taking up space. Uh, I have the Marc Jacobs in Slow Burn. This was one I really used to love. Oh that is still such a pretty shade. So I have Slow Burn. I also have Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. This used to be such a popular color. It is quite pink now that I'm looking at it. I think I'm gonna get rid of Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. And then I have uh, um, give beauty in stomp box this had to have come in some sort of a kit this is buildable but kind of like a little bit on the sheer side i want to say am i actually going to use this i mean it is practically new but am i actually going to use it that is the question i guess this should go into like a basket of doom or something i shouldn't just toss it because it is practically brand new all right let's do my four mark jacobs lips lipsticks this also used to be one of my favorite formulas i have two from their nude collection and just two other random ones this one actually was like a sephora rouge gift years ago this is in cabaret look at these one swipe. So yeah, if I if I were ever doubting the other berries in my collection, like this one I think kind of beats them all. Definitely keeping. We have Sugar High. That's a beautiful nude. Then I have Eat Cake. This one is a bit more shiny and peachy. And then we have Screen Test. The most pale of them all kind of reminds me of honeycomb so now i really don't feel as bad getting rid of that but i am keeping these love the mark jacobs lipstick formula wish the brand would come back I keep getting distracted. I keep wanting to fi finish the Bite Beauty and seeing other things. We have these matte cream lip crayons. This is in Coolis or Coolis. And this is in Tort. These went through a basket of Doom and came out the other side because I do really love all the Bite Beauty products. This is kind of like a deep red, like a berry red. And then this is a beautiful mauve color let's see what these three are i have rhubarb oh i used to love this one this is another mauve just a little bit more brown and then i have sable another great nude and pomegranate very shiny red but look at that gorgeous like blood red color that is so pretty i don't think i can part with these i love them it's sorbet you know what sorbet i think i can let go of that was is that this one no but it's similar did i get rid of that one yeah that was the kiss kiss bang bang i just don't really wear colors like this will i regret it i don't think so i think that one i won't regret but i'm keeping all of these i've decluttered what like one for every five that i'm keeping that's okay i as i've been saying in all of my declutter videos this is more of a collection and a reminder for me to see what do i have to accomplish in 2024 and how do i actually go through and try all these products so that i'm not just getting rid of them just for the sake of getting rid of them i don't want to do that 
I have one Bobbi Brown lipstick. This is in Plum Rose, and I think this was in my basket of doom, and I really love the color. That is beautiful. See, like, that's a pink I can get on board with because it's a little bit more mauve, a little bit deeper. So we're gonna try that this year and see, again, how we like it. I have these two Buxom lipsticks. I have a matte one in White Russian, and then I have a gel lipstick in Poison Nectar. Nectar. The white version, I wonder, because I have the gloss. Didn't I keep the gloss in my gloss declutter? I wonder if this would go well with that. Oh, but you see, that's that's really pink. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna wear that. That's really overly pink. Let's see. This though is seems like a pretty color. Yeah, that that I could see myself wearing. This not so much. So we're gonna keep just that hey, one. This buxom pencil with the broken cap. I actually really liked the pencil. I used this this past year i put it in a basket of doom and that's why it's still here because i really enjoyed it i used it kind of like a lip liner but i would fill in the entirety of my lips and then throw a gloss over it now am i going to remember to use this over a lip liner i don't think i will so i think i need to get rid of it as beautiful as that was and then what is this this is mally lip magnifier lip color in punch this looks like a shimmery formula of some sort oh yeah oh no 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 i'm not gonna ever wear that i don't even know why i still had that who remembers these these nars uh velvet matte lip pencils in cruella that sephora would put in absolutely everything but that i absolutely adored the shade of and still do look at that look at that we are going to try use this puppy up this i got this past year this is the sephora plus shea butter this is the sheer matte lip balm oh so i guess i should have put this with my balms but this is in soft sienna i really like this this was like such an easy color to wear with a little lip liner i wore this in the summer quite a bit we're gonna keep it around and see See if I keep using that. I have three. I think I used to have a whole set of these. This was a gift that students of mine gave me for the holidays one year. These are the Clinique Chubby Sticks, and I've always wanted to try these, but because these are so little i forget about them so i kept one of like the regular ones in my previous declutter and two of the intense and i'll be honest i think i maybe used one of these ones at best but let's see so we have this sheer one which is kind of like more in right now so maybe i should put these with my like balms and actually see if this would be the time to use it then i have this red and we all know i have plenty of red so we're gonna get rid of the red and then i have the grandest grape again that's very pretty and i'm sure comfortable on the lips but i don't think i'm going to use it so i'm just going to keep the regular formula in super strawberry and i should remember to put this together with my balms and then we have my four urban decay revolution lipsticks this already got dwindled down in a previous basket of doom earlier this year i had many many more so let's go through these shades again i have a feeling i'm going to keep all of these because as i said i've basically already done this part but this used to be my absolutely favorite shade this is a naked and you can see this is all i have left so it would be nice actually maybe to put this in a project pan and use it up then i have rapture this dark mauvey brown gorgeous color that was the regular revolution formula and these are the matte uh, ones the matte revolution this is an after dark so again in case i didn't have enough of these colors clearly i know i do now and then bittersweet another one of these fun poppy purple I, oh that is that is something so definitely keeping those i'm gonna have to organize this whole situation later i'm just piling them in for now and then we have give beauty so this is the original recipe in original me original recipe i think this was the first one she came out with and it's another red and yes i have right now the lisa eldridge that's kind of overtaken everything but i really like this one i need to remember 
to switch it up and use this one sometimes as well. We're definitely going to keep the red. Then I also have the original recipe in Anaheim Shine. This is the one I found at TJ Maxx and it's brand new. I haven't ever used it. So we're going to use it maybe like in a future get ready with me and put it in a basket of shame. And I think the same thing with this one. This is the original recipe extra sauce. Oh, this is the, uh, it's even sealed. This is shake well before applying. So I guess this is like a shine thing. I gotta look this up and see how do I, what do I do with that? And then last but not least, I have uh, my <laughs> last man standing. I used to have so many of these Maybelline lipsticks of all sorts of colors and varieties. The only one I kept was the black one. Again, just because of the sheer novelty of having a black lipstick. It's not even like the best black. I think that blue that I kept from Bite Beauty is much more cool. And I'm only keeping it like just in case for Halloween or something. Not that I ever really have time to dress up. But uh, this is what we have here. We've got we've got the declutters right here. Not too many. I'll count them up in a second. And all the keeps. Obviously, this is two rows of keeps. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. 22 lippies that I am decluttering. You know, while I'm sure I'm keeping like a million, I am, I'm okay with that. I keep saying that because I actually keep surprising myself. I keep thinking I'm not gonna declutter anything and I have actually been decluttering more than I thought I would. So I'm happy with that. Let me try to count this mess. Four and seven, here and then 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54 lipsticks. I mean, yes, it is still a lot of lipsticks, but I remember the days where I had over a hundred bullet lipsticks and through the years I have had to declutter some either because they've gone bad or because I just noticed I never wear them anymore as you can even see today. So yeah, we're, we're getting down there. I haven't been buying as many new lipsticks over the years. I think really the only new ones I've bought this past year have been, and I don't even remember if the Natasha Denona was this year or last year, but I bought the Rare Beauty lipstick. I bought a few of those Give Beauty lipsticks. Last Black Friday, I did a big Huda Beauty haul and I got that lipstick actually, I think, free as a gift with purchase. I'm trying to remember if I've really bought anything else um, with the Sephora lip balm. Yeah, I feel like anything that I've bought this year as far as lip products have been balms and uh, lip oils and things like that. I've definitely purchased quite a few of those. But as far as lipsticks, uh, most of mine have been around for a bit and I'm good with that. We'll see, of course, what the future holds. There have been tons of formulas over the years that I've wanted to try, but I keep resisting because, well, because. As you can see. But yeah, I think we're gonna wrap it up because these lipstick declutters have drained the life out of me. I hope that some of you guys are still here watching. I know these were long, especially if I decide to combine this into one giant biopic. But thank you so much for being here. Let me know how you guys are doing. Let me know how the holiday season has been treating you. If you guys are seeing this still during the holiday season, meaning if I'm posting this still during the holiday season, and if it's January already, Happy New Year. Thank you again so much for being here. Please subscribe. And other than that, I hope that you guys are doing well. I hope that you are continuing to stay safe and healthy. Take care of yourselves and those around you. And I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Bye.